Hello guys, Termex here, and welcome back to another New World video. Today, I'm going to be going over the Heaven Splitter Spear, how to get it, basically reviewing the spear within itself, and showing you guys a bunch of cool things about it. Now, the first thing I do want to mention, in order to get this spear, you are going to need the following requirements. The first thing is you're going to need to be level 60 in order to even use this spear in the first place. You're going to have to finish all of your Great Cleave side quests, which could be found at both of these outposts. And eventually, you will get a mission that takes you to Shattered Mountain. You're going to talk to a dude on a rock there, and the mission will be called Spear of the Heavens. Now, this is an interesting weapon. It takes a long time to do, and I want to make something clear here. A lot of streamers, a lot of big boy content creators are saying you could do these quests by yourself. It's super duper easy. That's that's a bunch of bullshit. In all honesty, some of these, I guess, quote unquote, 580 legendary quests that people are calling them, you could technically do by yourself. But there comes to a point in every single one of these quests that there's just going to be a huge freaking boss that you can't do on your own. You're going to need a healer. You're going to need a tank. And not a lot of people are this far into the game to utilize this yet. But I just want to go over this weapon, go over what it does, and basically, if it's even worth your time in the first place once you do hit this point in the game and you're looking for a good spear. Now, when you're at this point in the game, your gear is still struggling to breach that 500 mark. And this is going to help, but it is a quest reward, so it's not going to count towards your drops. Even though it boosts your gear score to 520, it's not going to actually boost your drops. But it has a very, very nice roll a very nice ability and the 580 gear score doesn't take away from the fact that it's a great weapon i have to say all in all if if i were to exclude the amount of time it took me and this one other guy to find people to help us with this quest it probably took about four or five hours if i combined the waiting times the dying over and over the finding a group easily took 12 hours of my whole day just to do this stupid quest but i will say it is worth it if you are in love with the spear and you love dexterity builds because this thing does hit pretty nice. Now, these are just target dummies, so these are going to show the PvP damage, not PvE damage because this is a fort, so you're going to see the PvP damage. Just want to make that clear. A lot of people aren't familiar with this. But if I wanted to show you PvE damage, I'd have to go somewhere and just kill enemies, but a lot of people are going to use this for PvP. And I want people to get a good understanding on what this spear can actually do in that situation. Now I will say, just so you guys are familiar with my loadout here, this is my build. I did have 300 decks, but I switched out armor. I'm going to fix it eventually. I'm just poor on gold. <laughs> but even not full max decks, you're doing a bunch of damage. I just have a little bit of constitution for some extra DPS. And this thing does hit pretty freaking hard. But let's go over the weapon itself here. We have Keen Vault Kick. Basically means after you Vault Kick, you get increased random crit chance by 18% for 5 seconds. I'm personally just not a fan of this because I don't even use Vault Kick at the end of the day and it's not really a big deal for me. I kind of wish this was something that had to do with Sweep because Sweep is an amazing ability. As for Corrupted Bane, it's not terrible. It's not great, but that 18% damage is pretty freaking nice. And now finally we have the Electrified 3 gem. Now this is the gem that it comes with. You can always swap this out if you please. But my opinion, I kind of like the lightning damage. I'm not going to lie to you. The lightning damage is pretty nice. And I don't see a lot of enemies resisting lightning damage. But you can always switch this out. You could switch this out for maybe a Opal if you really want to. You'll get that bonus damage while your stamina is not full. Which would be my recommendation if you don't want to keep the lightning damage. Because that gem is amazing. Now I am going to be making a gem guide that is more catered to everybody that is running dexterity builds. That video will be out soon. Like I said, I'm working on all these videos, man. I'm trying to get them all out there for you guys. But at the end of the day, is the Heaven Splitter something you should put your hard-earned time into? And honestly, if you're at this stage in the game and you just hit 60 and you're looking for a great spear, you have no reason not to be doing this quest line. This spear provides a lot of damage, and honestly, I'm a big fan of the lightning. Not everybody is, but it is pretty dang nice. And I will say, this has a very nice synergy if you use Javelin with it. Just because if you hit a crit, the amount of damage it hits for is absolutely crazy. I mean, PvP damage hitting for almost 3k, that's pretty nice. And I do want to mention, this thing looks like a freaking badass weapon. This is like Zeus's pokey pole with lightning attached to it. The whole weapon is gold. It just let me, let me hide my HUD for you guys so you can see this. But this thing is so freaking cool. Ah, uh, that it's such a cool looking weapon. I like whoever did what they did with this weapon now if you are curious since you are looking into the spear if you want an actual like spear build that you want to build upon i do have a video on my channel about that i could link it in the top right right about now so you can check that out 
But currently, I am working on a musket build, and my bow build will be out very soon. Just a few little updates, because I know a lot of new people are coming to the channel, and they're asking about all these things, and I'm trying my best. I'm traditionally not a upload videos daily content creator, but for this past week, I have been, because my brain is filling up with a bunch of new world ideas and a bunch of different things that I want to do. And honestly, it, it's cool. It's cool taking a little transition into a new game, and I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning a lot of things, and all I'm doing is spreading the things I learn out to you guys. So if you guys did enjoy this video, and you think that this spear is freaking awesome, <laughs> make sure you guys leave a like on this video as it helps me out a lot, and spreads my videos out more to the New World community. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, so you never miss out on another New World video from me. But you guys have a terrific day. Make sure you guys be safe, and I'll see you guys later.